Good morning guys and welcome back again to another episode of Don Voyage. So, today pag-uusapan natin kung ano ba yung dalawang klase ng distress messages na pwede natin gawin sa ating GMDSS. So, continue watching at sabay-sabay natin pag-aralan kung paano ito gawin. Pero unang-una sa lahat, kape tayo. Let's go! Yan, guys, I'm already done drinking my coffee and I'm ready to discuss our GMDSS equipment. So, nandito ako ngayon sa ating GMDSS console. So, you can see here the different equipments we have. Nung introduce ko sa inyo kung ano-ano yung mga yan no? at kung ano yung gamit na mga yan. So, here we have our VHF no? or the very high frequency. No? It's working on the channel 16. This is our international distress frequency on our VHF. Here we have our MFHF, and this this one is working on the 2182 kilohertz. Now this is the international distress frequency on our MFHF, and here we have our Inmarsat. So you guys know about this already, okay? So isa isa hi natin to mga to. Um, pag-usapan natin kung ano ano yung mga range nito, okay? Para malaman natin kung kailan ba ginagamit to, kailan to gagamitin, and kailan gagamitin yung mga gamit natin. Alright? So, here we have our VHF. This one is working up to 20 to 40 nautical miles. No, even 50. No, depende sa ating atmosphere. If it's day or night. Okay, because uh, there are different factors which affects the radio range of our equipment. Okay, ito naman, this is working on... 50 to up to 400 nautical miles sometimes even 500 no? depends sabi ko nga dun sa radio range natin okay at this one is satellite communication so ito basta meron lang signal yung ating uh, in marsat no pwede natin gamitin yan by the way the operations of our equipment would vary depending on our brand so here I have a Sam Electronics VHF I have a Furuno MFHF and a Thrain and Thrain in Marsat so if you have a different equipment on board I suggest that you read your manuals all right but for our, for our equipment here we have this at ito yung pag-uusapan natin okay so ngayon pag-uusapan pag -usapan natin ngayon kung ano yung dalawang klase ng distress messages na meron tayo all right so we have two kinds of distress messages one is the undesignated distress message and the second is the designated distress message okay, so malalaman natin ngayon kung paano tayo magpapadala niyang dalawa na yan so, how to send a undesignated distress message on our VHF? So, all you have to do is open this. Yeah. Very tempting. Wow. So, all you have to do is press this for 4 to 5 seconds. Tapos, automatic na ito magpapadala ng distress. But, however, this is undesignated. Kasi wala ka sinating dyan. Eh, kung anong klaseng distress yung meron tayo. Eh. So, later, malalaman natin kung paano natin isi-setting yan. So, ito, undesignated on our VHF. So let's go to our MFHF. How to send an undesignated distress on our MFHF? So like our VHF, it meron din siyang distress button. So look at that, no? Napaka ano talaga? It's really tempting to press, but of course I don't like to have a reason to press this. No, yung kama experience sa pinipindot yan. And this one on our Inmarsat, no? Um, usually on the other in Marsats, no, meron tayong same like our VHF and MFHF. Meron ditong button ng distress, no, somewhere on the on on this screen. But for our train and train, um, ang ating distress button is nandito. So one for each. This one is for that one, and this one is for that one. Okay, so like them, like the VHF and MFHF, open lang to, tas pindutin mo lang yan, and undesignated distress na yan. No? So, magpapadala yan ng distress sa ating mga shore stations or our uh, mission control centers, mga MRCCs natin. Ating nature of distress is undesignated. Kasi wala kang sinating dyan eh. Nagpadala ka lang ng undesignated distress. That's it, no? So, next, we will talk about 
how to send a designated distress now this is where it gets interesting kasi ito kaya, kaya naman gawin niya ng kahit sino man pindot lang button okay 4 to 5 seconds and it will be sending so we will set ilalagay natin no kung anong klasing distress ang meron tayo para may idea yung mga rescue natin kung ano yung expect nila so how to send a designated distress on our VHF first you would like to go to menu then ito one no we have different uh, selections dito you can either press up or down tapos okay or you can press the number na nakat uh, katumbas niyan but i want to, to go to DSC call press one tayo DC call, emergency, press 4, and then you can choose what kind of emergency. So we have different different ones here. We have distress, urgency, this safety, relay, distress, acknowledge. We want to send a designated distress, so dito tayo sa number 1, compose distress. Compose sign of distress. But dito may kita nyo yung mga iba-ibang klase ng distress. Now we have fire, flooding, collision, grounding, listing, sinking, disabled, undesignated, abandoning piracy, man overboard. Ayan, so pabalik na naman siya sa 1. So, pili ka kung anong gusto mo dyan no? or kung ano yung distress na nararanasan ng barko. Okay, so let's select fire for example. So, let's press 1. And there we go. So, now this is designated. Okay, kasi sinetting mo na dyan eh. So, ibig sabihin, once na pinadala mo to, may kita nung mga receivers natin, which is all ships around the vicinity na abot ng range na ang ating VHF is ayan, nature of distress fire explosion position this one our um, the time sent okay and also the MMSI of our ship no? makikita yan this will be sent on our DSC or the digital selective calling for the VHF our DSC channel is channel 70 okay so magpapadala yan sa channel 70 it's going to broadcast this message on the channel 70 to all the ships around on the range na abot ng ating uh, VHF Okay, so all you have to do now is to press the distress button for 45 seconds and it will send this designated distress. Of course, we will not send this, so cancel natin. No, back, balik tayo, back, 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 back. I don't want to send that. Uh, magka false alert tayo sa mga kasama natin dito. Next, we will go to our MFHF. You can see here, these are the DSC, no, the Digital Selective calling frequencies naka scanning tong sa akin eh so you can see na meron siyang 2 4 6 8 12 16 megahertz so ayan yung mga frequencies which our MFHF is working in so it is ito yung mga DSC frequencies natin so pag nagpadala to ng DSC call or DSC distress message magbo-broadcast yan dito sa anim na frequencies na yan so lahat ng mga barko na naka-standby sa mga channels na to matatanggap ang ating distress message right so now, how to send a designated distress message on our MFHF? First, you have we would like to go to DSC. Yeah. Now you will see different selections ito, but we would like to go to the distress. Now how to go there? Just turn the knob. So we put natin to knob the distress. There we go. So push to enter. Distress. Now, at the moment, it's undesignated. But of course, we're going to send a designated distress. So, pindutin natin yan. Now, you can choose here what kind of uh, distress you would like. Let's choose fire. Push to enter. So, now, this is designated. No? Kasi yung nature of distress natin now is fire. Kanina, undesignated. So, the type of distress is fire. So, once we... We can now press this distress button. No? Pag pinilito natin to distress button, this is, it's going to broadcast the message on our 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 16 megahertz frequency. So, lahat ng mga naka-standby dyan may receive to. No? They will receive the nature of our distress, fire, our position, time sent. Right? Dito, yan. No? 2, 4, 6, 8. Let's go to view. Tingnan nga natin kung ano yung... Ito yung may kita nila. Eh. Yan. Right? So, coordinates, time sent. Okay? Go to the next page. Yeah. Our uh, MMSI, distress alert, fire, and explosion. So, yan yung may kita nila. Alright? So, lahat ng mga naka-standby doon sa channels na yon, may receive yung message na yun. Cancel natin. Cancel. I don't want to send that. Okay, baka magkaroon tayo ng false alert. Now, lastly, yeah, we will go to our Inmarsat. Alright? So, how to send a designated distress on our Itmarsat terminal. So, yan, no? marunong na kayo gumamit nito. I already discussed how to go. So, let's go to the distress. 
enter so first you would like to go to the distress alert settings yeah first you have to choose your land earth station so dito station 12 you know you can set your position but this is automatically sa ating gps na nag input na yan ito galing sa ating gyro compass automatic our speed log updated to tong time and of course no yan sa ating nature of distress you can choose what you like or what the actual distress is on board okay fire flooding collision so kailangan mo lang pindutin yung space bar to select um, and so you can select now if you're done you just press the okay button then our distress button so now magpapadala yan ng distress message no? like that so yan yung makikita ng ating mga rescue centers okay, na makaka-receive nito right so that is a designated distress alright so now I, I I wouldn't like to send this so hindi ako mag okay I won't press anything I don't like to send a false alert sa ating mga rescue centers so alis na tayo I don't want any distress double check natin undesignated alright so that's it alright so thank you for watching guys uh, I hope you learned something today um, now alam nyo na kung paano magpadala ng designated and undesignated distress messages sa ating GFDSS so if you're interested on my videos please click the like button subscribe button and the notification bell and stay tuned for more videos so wishing you all fair winds, clear skies, and following seas. Always remember, don't voyage.